how I find areas to fish um, for you know for bass and um, pond snook and tarpon. Um, I've had a lot of success um, in ponds for snook, and I've hooked up into a few tarpon. But uh, I'm going to show you how I find these areas before I even go out looking. Um, a lot of times you you never even saw this you know this little lake in a corner or this little pond in a corner, whatever the case may be. You might live in there your whole life and never known that these places were there. And there's simple tricks to figuring out how to find these fish and whether the, you, you should even go there. You might see a lit body of water, but not sure if you can fish it. And uh, the way I use it, uh, use the, uh, excuse me, what I use to find these areas is Google Maps. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are using it now. But uh, I'm going to show you the method that I use to find these areas. And I will show you an actual place that I fish that has snook in it. Um, and it will give you a, a nice idea of uh, how I go about doing that. Alright, so I have Google Maps pulled up on my phone, and this lake right, or this lake right here, uh, it's called Meadow Lawn, or this is Meadow Lawn Park right here, as you can see, right there, Meadow Lawn. Um, there are snook in here, and uh, I, I've caught a few, and I've seen tarpon in there, so I know there's fish in here. One of the first things I look for is how it accesses to a body of salt water. So what I look for right now is I found this place. It's a park, which 90% of the time means you can fish it. It's a public area. You look for areas that it opens up, like these drainage areas right here. Uh, here's one right here that looks the most promising. This one comes up, up through this neighborhood here. And as you can see, opens up right there and this canal right here you follow it you keep on following it down following it down following it down bam salt water that one opens up into Riviera Bay and Riviera Bay Weeden Island all the way down Tampa Bay so, that's one of the ways you can find out if it connects. So you look on Google Maps and try to find it. And I'll go down a little bit more and you can continue to find more ponds this way. So you go down, you go down, you go down. Oh, here's a little area of water. Or here's a little area. It goes down right into this. This little, I guarantee that has snook in it. Go down a little more. It connects to Weed Nine or not Weed Nine Sawgrass Lake Park, which definitely has snook in it, but you can't fish it. So you can find any body of water that way. And one way you can tell if you can fish it as well. So this whole area is all residential, right here. This right here, the park should be no problems fishing that right there. Alright, so I hope I was able to give you a little bit of an insight on uh, what I do to find ponds and um, hopefully uh, it'll help you go and find your own as well. Um, as I said before, uh, this isn't just for finding snook in ponds. You can use it to find, you know, plenty of bass ponds or you know or the case may be it also is a helpful way of finding saltwater spots where you can you know find holes and all that and uh if you would like i can do a, a video on how i find places to fish um in salt water as well or any other kind of video whether it's a tutorial or it's um you know how i organize my tackle or you know whatever it is um how to's whatever it is just let me know in the comment section below and I will do my best to make a video on that um, see right now it's storming pretty hard out there 
I was going to go fishing, but uh, don't really see that happening now. So, uh, anyways, appreciate all the support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, thank you guys for watching and giving me feedback. And, uh, yeah, just uh, keep fishing. That's the best way to do it. You might find a place. And, uh, you know, it could be your next honey hole. You never know. Just keep on fishing. You're never going to never gonna catch anything unless you go out there and actually do it. And, um, you know, it just takes time. It takes time. Lure presentation, you know, they could be there. They just might not be feeding. So look for the mullet if you're looking for, you know, snook or something in a pond. Look for the mullet jumping. If there's mullet jumping, you're all good because they're, they're going to be the first ones you see in there. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, tight lines and uh, thanks for all the support.